All right, and if you already don't know me and you're new to my channel, my name is Mia, call her Mia. You can find me on TikTok and IG as well, so just stay connected, just follow me on my socials. But if you are new here, you should subscribe as well. I do booty vlogs, decor, and a lot of luxury finds as well, and a little bit of fashion. So, subscribe, hit that bell. You know, so we gonna talk a little bit about the origin to tell far uh, he's actually a Liberian designer he is from Queens New York I wanted to know who was behind you know this design I've been seeing this bag everywhere Oprah endorsed it I seen Beyonce with it I was like well that ain't like that carrying it so must be for a good cause so this, but he is very 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 big on the brand being very affordable for everyone actually stands for not for you for everyone so he's very big on making sure that it is very affordable for us common folks because you know everybody ain't balling like that and everybody's a millionaire can't afford a Birkin whatever we do, but we gonna have fun with these little bags big bags medium bags we're gonna have a good time with the overall aesthetic of the bag I love it so we have that embossed logo it is a very distinct logo it's a T and it's connected inside of a C so very distinct logo you can tell that's a Telfar just off the logo so I'm very happy I actually chose the dark brown because I feel like this will go with more of my wardrobe I might do another pop of color in a different size um, or I might do another mini in hot pink I don't know yet because the website sold out um, you have to get on a waiting list and it's exclusive these drops so i definitely sign up for their email notification so you can go through the checkout very seamlessly and be notified so you get your own so it does come in this packaging you do get the plastic bag as well as the dust bag the telfar logo yes yes so always love when i get a dust bag so my bag doesn't get broken anyway we'll get into it we'll go ahead and go over the dimensions so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that on the screen and as well as what fits inside i know it's very tiny and then i'll show y'all how to style it is wet so oh here we go dimensions are for length you do get a whopping six and a half inches of space here and for depth this is always very 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 crucial as well so you know how much space you got capacity wise um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it at three inches of width not too tall of a bag either a whopping let's just put five inches there for you guys so she is small she's your fun little tiny bar bag you can only put your essentials in there so I'll go ahead and show y'all what fits inside iPhone 11 Pro that fits in there securely, literally the width of the phone, so that works out. All right, now keep up going down in your AirPods, and then lipstick, yeah. And then I just try to secure my card holder towards the back of the wall as well, so I can look in there and see what's going on. Uh, don't want to lose my item, so we're gonna go ahead and snap her. So, boom not too compact not too heavy either um, definitely like that it gives you a little bit of cabin space um, it does fold and crease right here so keep that in mind when you snap it if not you can leave it open and that gives you a little bit more lead way width wise so she's a darling she only fits so much and if you like um, I don't like to pack too much because I was gonna fold my straps down in there like so and then you know you can stow away your straps and just leave it open like that if you want so from far away looks a little bit more tailored and clean if you will but that is her with all the items inside I'm gonna show y'all how to style it next Alrighty, so the strap drops is it's 21 inches as well I'll show y'all a full body version of that as well so you see where it hits me I am 5'7 so we'll show you that later and then the handle drop from the top of the bag 
we're going to hang on for like the top handle area is four and three fourths inches as well. So, tiny little porty bag, but she serves her purpose. You can wear her one of four ways in my mind. So, of course, just that regular shoulder. Off the shoulder like that. And then you can crossbody her just so she's a little bit more secure, doesn't fall off her shoulder. Crossbody as well. Then what I like to do is, I, I personally like to tuck the straps because I don't like them everywhere. But I tuck it in. So that gives that cute little top handle bag. It's not the crossbody anymore. You can always tuck it in. And I still have space with the little items that I did put in the bag. Sound. Or you can leave the straps out. Mine are all crinkly and whatnot from stuffing it in. But to each his own, wear it the way you want. But I personally like the top handle look and crossbody if I don't want to hold it back. That is the end of the video. Hope this video was very informational. Hopefully you can get on that wait list and get your own. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell because we are on the up and up, the up and up. And you can always follow me on my socials as well. Call her Mia and go check out my other videos. If you have any questions, you can always ask below i will answer but thank you so much again for making this part